There's a new chapter in the decades-long mystery surrounding the Dozier School for Boys in the Florida Panhandle. The state is making a change when it comes to the land on the main campus owned by the school. As Mike Vesalinta tells us, county officials say this is one more step toward closure in the brutality that took place there. Hundreds were beaten, some died in the so-called White House, all at the hands of state officials during the Dozier School's 100 years of operation. In 2017, state lawmakers ordered the sprawling campus turned over to local officials. Jackson County Commissioner Clint Pate acknowledged the school's dark history as he made his pitch for the property. We'd like to uh, take the, the uh, challenge of turning this into a positive um, impact to Jackson County instead of some of the negative stuff we've had with there. With little debate, Governor Rick Scott and the cabinet agreed to turn over the school's 360 acres. This is long overdue. As well as another 919 acres for economic development. Comments or objections? Hearing, in, hearing down the motion carries. The legislation calls for a monument and the preservation of the White House and the Boot Hill Cemetery. The barbed wire that kept inmates from escaping is now gone. Several buildings on the property are still usable. I'm really excited about getting it turning it into a positive and uh, we're going to be good caretakers of the property. A plan to reinter more than four dozen bodies taken from the campus has been delayed until sometime next year. And while the state has apologized, we are sorry. The question of reparations for dozens of men who survived the abuse remains open. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Massalinda, Channel 4, the local station. Seven bodies from children who died in a fire will be returned to Boot Hill on that property. County officials couldn't put a timetable on how long it'll take to turn the property into something positive.